the Dalai Lama gets up every morning meditating on compassion and he thinks that helping other human beings is an integral component of human happiness. Yeah. On the other hand, we have someone like Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was very fond of abducting and raping and torturing and killing young women. Okay, so we appear to have a genuine difference of opinion about how to profitably use one's time. Okay. <laughs> Most Western intellectuals look at this situation and say, well, there's nothing for the Dalai Lama to be really right about, really right about, or for Ted Bundy to be really wrong about. Now notice that we don't do this in science. On the left, you have Edward Witten. If you ask the smartest physicists around, who's the smartest physicist around, in my experience, half of them will say Ed Witten. The other half will tell you they don't like the question. <laughs> so what would happen if I showed up at a physics conference and said string theory is bogus? You know, it doesn't resonate with me. It's not how I choose to view the universe at the smallest scale. I'm not a fan. Okay, well, <laughs> Well, nothing would happen because I'm not a physicist. I don't understand string theory. I I'm the Ted Bundy of string theory. Okay? 